Well, here's a question for you today. What do you hold on to? What do you cling to for life? If you were drowning and someone threw you a, a lifeline, somebody threw you a life preserver, you would, you would cling to that because your life depends on it. Well, the passage we're going to look at today in Proverbs chapter 7, verses 1 through 4, tell us what we should truly cling to and hold to to have the kind of life we long for, to save our lives. And here it is, Proverbs 7, 1. My child, keep my words. Store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. And to insight, you are my relative. You're my family. This invitation is a passionate commitment to cling to the wisdom of God, to the Word of God, because it brings life. So we learn in this passage, load up on God's wisdom. You can't have too much of it. Be in the Scriptures. Know the Word of God. Get it in your mind. Get it in your heart, because it's going to save your life. And, and it's, it's those things that you may not recognize how a certain passage or truth is going to change your life or save your life until you hit that situation. All of a sudden, it's there to hold on to. Understand that God's truth is a life-saving truth, not just ultimately for heaven one day, but for your marriage, for your family, for your friendships, for your reputation. Following God's word will save your life before you mess it up and before you lose it. There's this picture of binding it to your fingers, almost taking like scrolls, little scrolls of scripture and tying them to your fingers. And some people take that literally. I think it's meant to be a metaphor to say, keep God's word close at your fingertips. Here's one of the great things we have right now. If you have a phone, it's a smartphone, it's pretty much a normal phone these days. You've got the Bible in multiple translations. Your phone can read the Bible to you. If you download a Bible app, you've got it close to you. If you you keep that, that your phone in your pocket, God's word is always with you. Remember that, because you can go to that when you need it. It also says keep it deep in your heart. So it's not enough to keep God's word you know, on your nightstand or in your phone, but keep feeding it into your heart, keep bringing it into your heart. And then I love the imagery of make wisdom your family. Like if you're super close to your sister, if you've got family where you're really close to, it's like, well, well they're like family to me, because they're family. Well, let God's word be like that. Let it be so much a part of your life. So here's my encouragement today. If you've never opened up a Bible app on your phone, do it. You, you, you can use the U version of the Bible. There's all kinds of, just, put in, just do a search in your apps for free Bible app. And download that and start listening to it more. And I, I would even challenge you to do something else. You can get these little free little apps for your phone that are like a tape recorder, or just an old-fashioned tape recorder. And uh, there, I got a cheap one, so, I mean, it was free. It's on my phone. And I can actually record chapters of the Bible that I'll read it into my phone at my own pace, in my own voice, so I can kind of get the cadence that I want to really remember it well. And then sometimes when I'm driving, I'll listen to that and start to memorize portions of the Bible because I've, I've actually read it and listened to it again and again. This morning I was listening to Isaiah 35 in my own pace because I read it into my phone, and I was listening to Revelation chapter 1 and 2, and I've memorized a lot of those portions of those passages because I've listened to it again and again. Let God's word, let God's wisdom be family to you. Keep it in your fingertips. Keep it close in your heart. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. That the Bible wouldn't just be something that we read on occasion or that we need to find for Sunday for church or that we, that we have in our phone handy, but we don't let it become part of our hearts. But Lord, make your word fill us. Change our minds. And let us understand the value of the scriptures, we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. God's blessings on you. Connect with God's people this weekend. If you're part of Shoreline, 9 and 11 o'clock services on campus online. If you're out of the California area, another part of the world, so glad you're paying attention and listening to these short devotionals. But jump into a congregation wherever you are. Be part of the family of God. God's blessings on you.